Good day, my name is Joseph. Welcome to Bitcoin Bounce and I'm with Dion today. And today I'm going to quickly go over a few of my trading rules that I use when I trade. Uh, Dion is more of a technical trader. He looks at the charts and he, he does singular trades. Uh, I love DCA trading. So um, uh, some of these trading rules is probably going to apply to both strategies. But I want to quickly go through some trading rules and then we're going to run over one or two questions. Okay, so I'm going over my trading rule. My first rule is make a plan and stick to it. And uh, this, this, is a, this is a very big rule. Uh, I think uh, over the course of the last three years, uh, me and Dion changed our plan two or three times. And I cannot say that it was every time for, for the best. You know, when you come under pressure, uh, then you suddenly want to change your plans. Um, and so uh, make sure you have a good plan. Talk to professional people that know what they're doing and then make your plan and stick to it. And so uh, I, I can't stress this uh, well enough. And so we are at the, the bottom of a major crypto run. Uh, we're at the start of a bull run that's just going to be incredible. And so today, I believe, is the right time to sit down and make your plan. OK, um, I just want to include with that is make sure you also have a plan for your gains. You know, that's something that I made a mistake with. Uh, I, I would make profits. And then I would just stick my profits here in the corner and I'll look at it and be happy with it. But I need to have a plan for it. You know, even if your, your plan is just to buy more BTC with your profits, then at least that is a plan. Okay, so uh, my next rule is let the market tell you what to do. Okay, now, now I tend to, uh, you know, want to listen to uh, some kind of professional that tell me, okay, this is the bottom you need to buy in. Now, you know, when we reach uh, $30,000 Bitcoin, a lot of uh, professionals were saying this is probably the bottom because uh, $30,000 was a very hard resistance uh, about a year and a half ago. And so then people would say, well, uh, that must be the bottom. I think two years ago when we had that big drop in May, uh, everybody will remember it. Uh, well, I think it was 2021. Uh, then uh, when Bitcoin came to 30,000, it sat there and then it uh, shoot up for a, a good bull run. And so a lot of people would say, OK, 30,000 is hard. But the, the main thing is we need to let the market tell you what to do. Now, I love Ethereum. And so we got this trend line on the Ethereum chart. I just um, I made it a little bit bigger for you. And so you can see uh, there's a very clear trend line that was broken. There's also a higher lows. For me, the chart said to me, now I can start my Ethereum DCA bot. And so that is why I I waited uh, during this down run for something like this that could trigger for me. So I, I needed the market to tell me um, this is now the time, you know, uh, the market was uh, uh, falling and then it fell more. Then there was a consolidation uh, and then it fell again. And then we started to see this high lows. You could see on this one, we had lower lows. We had lower highs. Uh, there was no trend line break, uh, but now we have a clear trend line break. And so that's why it's important. Let the market tell you what to do. OK, so my next rule is uh, buy dips, right? Buy dips and then um, for me, it's very difficult to call the top. So I always go for 10 to 15 percent profit. And then once I, I, I bank my profit, then I look for my next dip. And that's why I, I look at many coins, uh, because then I have a lot of trading opportunities. So I only want to show you here. So I got an RSI here at the, at the bottom of my screen. And then every time we I got the circle, uh, that was for me a buying oppo uh, opportunity and most of these buying opportunities are also ones that I took. Now I just want to go to uh, this buying opportunity right here. Uh, there was a dip and then there was a lower dip and then that was my entry point. So uh, I were able to get out on this uh, short term uh, up run uh, with my DCA bot. Uh, but, but for a lot of ones that might have a target that's too high, if you bought this uh, dip, then um, your choices is going to be either you need to uh, put a stop loss to get out of this trade uh, when the market starts to fall or you need to DCA in and that is uh, in Ethereum what I uh, were able to do and actually yesterday when the market went up I was able to close 
uh, I think it's about 15 or 16 of my trades uh, that I had at uh, different coins closed out yesterday because of that that pullback that I had. Now you can see again, uh, there's another dip uh, where the uh, RSI went underneath uh, the 30 level and uh, it would have been a wrong buy for me. Uh, that's why you need to let the market tell you what to do and then make sure you buy those dips uh, and then uh, for me, a profit uh, between 10 and 15 percent is good for me. Now, on my long-term trades, um, I'm putting in trades, and I want to cash out when the the coin reaches its all-time high. But I understand that's going to take anywhere between a year and four years for that to happen. But then, on the short-term trades, uh, that the everyday DCA trades that I do for that, I go for a 10 to 15 percent uh, take profit. Okay, so. Um, uh, we have you have to protect your your cash okay and to do that you can either dca uh, or you can use a stop loss okay and so uh, usually um if, if you think about it uh, let me just think about the stop loss scenario okay so uh let's go back in here again there's a dip and you buy uh if you had a stop loss in right here underneath uh, that low area um, you would have just cashed out. Maybe you made a, sh a, a little bit of a loss, but then you could have just bought at that next dip again, where the, the RSI went down underneath again. Then you would have been in uh, at a lot lower price and you would not have lost all that money on the way down. So uh, a stop loss is a wonderful thing uh, if you manage to be able to buy in at the lower price. Uh, or alternatively, uh, use a DCA bot strategy. And so that's what I do. I DCA, uh, and I think uh, um, uh, Dion for the most part uh, would use a stop loss. Okay, so then uh, my next uh, trading rule is diversify. And that's especially when it comes to my profits. So I would focus on uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin. And as I manage to generate some profits, then I would stick those profits uh, into smaller cap coins. Okay, so uh, here's a list of uh, some of the coins that I are looking am looking in right now. Uh, so you can see uh, I got uh, five groups of coins. So you can see uh, this is my group number two, and this is for me foundation coins. Uh, these ones have been there for a while, and I believe they can still be here for a while. Shippers may be a little bit newer on this list, but I love uh, all of these coins. Uh, and so um, uh, I diversify my portfolio into these coins. Uh, right now, I had quite a, a, a lot of money into uh, the sand uh, coin. And let me see where, where is Matic. Yeah, there's my Matic. And I got a lot of uh, money also in a, in a Matic coin. So diversify, especially in crypto. And you know what's the wonderful thing, full thing about crypto? There's so many projects and there's so much uh, great news coming out. So uh, we, you know, uh, I used to trade Forex and you're always limited to that 24 currency pairs uh, where you get the low, um, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, spreads. And then all the other crosses are very high spread. So you're kind of limited to what you can do with your money. But in crypto, it's wonderful. You can do long-term investments. Uh, there's many projects coming up. Uh, you know, when a new project is launched uh, on the exchange, then you can buy and you can make substantial profits. It's all kinds of things that you can do. My next trading rule is to be patient, okay? And so uh, this is important. Um, uh, you can see when Dion talks to us about Bitcoin, he's very patient to wait for uh, a close above the, the resistance or the support or the trend line uh, to confirm a uh, 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 entry and so uh, and that's very important also um, you know a lot of times when the market is going up and up and up you know it will reach a top at some point and so you've got to be patient to wait uh, for a dump or for a bottom and then once you share the bottom is in then you can jump in again um, uh, another rule that I use uh, and that is I want to accumulate B uh, BTC so I've got some money that I uh, done that really I haven't trades right now and most of that um, funds when I believe Bitcoin reached the, the bottom I exchange all that money for uh, US uh, for BTC I you know the the rule is kind of when you think you're on a, in a bull run uh, keep your money in BTC when you think you are in a, a bear run then keep your money in USDT okay so uh, if you look uh, at Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin is at a very low so right now a, I think it's a good opportunity uh, to start to buy in Bitcoin. A lot of people, when we were here at the top, 
you know, they were buying Bitcoin, um, but this is not a, uh, that was not a good time to buy Bitcoin. And unfortunately, a lot of uh, people took their pension funds and they were buying Bitcoin. Uh, but uh, the idea with any, like any other market, you want to buy dips. And right now, uh, we are definitely in a good spot to buy Bitcoin. So I would say, uh, if you kept all your money in USDT, you can shift the percentage of your funds into Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, so uh, let me just go over that rule again. So in a bull market, keep my cash in BTC. In a bear market, keep my cash in USDT. And so uh, I would say the moment uh, Bitcoin goes over the fifty, sixty thousand dollars uh, in value, uh, then at that stage I'm going to start shifting my money back into USDT. Uh, you know, Bitcoin has this thing that sometimes almost reaches the high, and then it has a, a dump or a big pullback. So anything above fifty or sixty thousand dollars, I would start to uh, get a little bit anxious uh, about keeping my money in Bitcoin, and then I'll move it back into uh, US dollar. Okay, so um, and in and that's got, that's in essence my my um, my trading plans uh, that I have for today. Hey, Dion, any questions? Yes, actually, two. The one is why did you decide on taking a ten percent? profit so you, you always go for 10 percent is there a reason for that okay so dion what i did is uh, i have a dca optimizer um and um i did many many tests over many coins and uh, what i found in a bull run uh, the best is when i dca is every time there's a dip on a rsi especially on a four hour chart uh, that's a good entry price for me uh, and i just found when i op optimized uh, different coins over different time frames over bull runs over bear runs um i found uh to to buy when the rsi go on a 30 is a very good entry for me on a dca uh, and then i you know i started with one percent uh take profits on a dca two percent five percent ten twenty thirty forty uh, fifty a hundred percent and uh, every time uh, my DCA bots, uh, depending on the coin and how volatile it is, would optimize uh, on the low side. You know, anything under five would not optimize very well. And then anything over 20% would also not optimize well. And so I found if you just want to kind of have like a middle of the line uh, percentage, because it's, yeah, each coin also optimizes a little bit differently. Uh, but for the most part, 10% uh, would be like 95 to 100% of the best choices um, in in a, a take profit. Uh, but in a bull run, definitely 50% is a better take profit. But in a bear run, uh, probably between a 5 and a 10% take profit is probably going to be better. So that's why I would say right now, 50, uh, I'm selling all my DCA bots on 15% take profit. Uh, but in a bear run, I had most of my DCA bots more in a five to ten percent take profit range. So it's optimized. Uh, I it's not a feeling. Um, it's uh, I I sat for hours and hours and I went through coins and I just optimized it. That's how I came up with that. Okay, great. So ten percent is the sweet spot. And then the other question I had is when you're trading a bull run and you've converted all your cash to BTC, do you trade? BTC pairs or do you cash out USDT and then try the USDT pair? What's the optimal for you there? Do you stay in BTC and just try to BTC against ADA and DOT and whatever or or do you cash out back to USDT? What, what do you try then if your money is in BTC? So the challenge for me is the uh, Bitcoin will go up first uh, with Ethereum, okay? Uh, and then probably a month or two after the Bitcoin and Ethereum has gone up, then at that stage is only when the smaller coins is going to start to really fire and you're going to start to see your your 5Xs and your 10Xs on the coins. Okay? Uh, because what happens, uh, uh, Bitcoin dominance um, uh, goes up and up. And at some point uh, when Bitcoin dominance starts to fall, by that time, usually Bitcoin already started to uh, start the bull run. And at that stage, people get more confidence not to only buy Bitcoin as they start to make profit, but they also want to buy some of the other coins. And so at that stage, Bitcoin is already for me at the point where I'm, I'm, I'm getting scared to have too much Bitcoin uh, and, and then I'll start to uh, slowly but surely uh, exchange some of my money back into USDT. So I would say, 
I will trade my coins, um, Bitcoin against uh, any coin uh, on the charts until Bitcoin reaches, uh, let's say, $55,000. The moment Bitcoin is going over $55,000, I'm going to trade all my coins against US, uh, USDT. And so then what I'll do on my, my coins, I will try either a trading stop uh, uh, or I will um, make sure I buy extreme lows where some of those coins dump uh, uh, because you don't want to be trapped and, and own a lot of coins right at the top of the uh, the bull run and then you have a dump uh, now uh, what I find in a bull run and I went and I counted it over all the, the years um, in a bull run there is a significant uh, dump in altcoins I'm talking about 30 to 40% dump at least once every six weeks so that's why you have to understand rather cash out your profits and even if you have to wait a few weeks for a, a proper dump and then jump in again and then run maybe uh, that uh, uh, for another 30 or 40 percent uh, profits uh, look for dips uh, but every but but be aware the whole time that there is a possibility of these these mini uh, dumps that that happens all the time and so that's why I, I I'm, I'm careful about that uh, but I think for right now uh, all your money can be in Bitcoin uh, that you trade um, at least until Bitcoin reaches 50 or 55 thousand dollars okay great okay guys uh, that's all we have for today. Uh, we're going to be back tomorrow again. Uh, hopefully, uh, we have a close above that resistance line. And Dion is going to talk to us again about Bitcoin. Um, and so I want to encourage you, even if you just start a small portfolio on the site, um, you know, test some of these trades uh, that uh, Dion recommends uh, uh, to you. Remember, we are not um, uh, financial advisors. Uh, we are just retail traders. Uh, we love trading the markets. Uh, we, we love the whole crypto industry. And so uh, don't consider anything that we say is financial advice. Uh, rather, you know, think it, of it as we are thinking and planning together. Uh, where all of us want to make some money in this coming bull run. And so that's why we putting out this information for you. Uh, we trust you're going to have a good day. Uh, see you next time. Cheers, guys. Have a good day.